here we are going to uh, work on a project in Tableau and uh, that will be related to your sample superstore data set and we are going to create a dashboard that will be looking something like this. The requirement for this particular project is categorized into three sections. One is general requirement where we need to create a dashboard of size 1250 pixel by 750 pixel. We need to use containers. We should have five container. There will be a filter pane and there should be some padding between them. Right. And then we should have three charts with the proper formatting. Right. And then here is the business requirement. We need to show these filters, category, subcategory, region and segment. These filters should have only relevant values. Dashboard should have title like executive sales. And then we have these three charts and definitely a proper formatting so that it can look professional. So we are going to create the dashboard that will be looking somehow like this. It's a pretty easy dashboard and uh, let's start and see how to create it in Tableau. I have simply opened the Tableau. And now I'm connecting it to Sample Superstore data set. I will be using the ordered data set of Sample Superstore. And here it is. Okay, so now I have um, some preview of the data. Let's go to sheet one and start creating the first part of the worksheet, like this YTS KPI. So just name this worksheet as YTS KPI. So here it will be like major, let me drag major name here. And uh, major values in the row self. Okay. And uh, let me make it in the tabular format. So that uh, I will be having the required detail. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Just rename it so that it will look good. YTS KPIs. And this was Georgia. And this is just okay. Cool. We don't need some number of records. So I'm just removing it. And the rest of the things we need, right? Like we needed a discount, profit, quantity, and sales. So we have discount, profit, quantity, and sales. And we are good on this. And one more thing, what I want to do is. Just make it a little bit taller so that it will look good. And even you can make it fit width. Okay. We should remove, we should also remove these, uh, you know, lines so that a proper formatting should be there or it should look like the way I shown you in the desired output. Yeah, we are good on this part. Okay, let's do a little bit more steps like let's make it bold. Let's change the format also. Okay. It's looking good now. And uh, make it at the center. Make it at the center. Remove, increase the font a bit. Major values. Let's make it at Calibri. Yeah, good, great. We are on, done on this. The next part is, it's asking me to show sales per month per year, right? And it's an area chart. So let's create another worksheet for sales. Before that, what we can do, can you see these uh, requirement for filters, category, subcategory, region, and segment? We can add it over here. So we need category, so let's add category here. We can use all, then we have subcategory. Again, we can use all and let's quickly show these also. So filter, again, so filter. Okay, let's make it a single value drawdown list. Yeah, let's this also make the single value drawdown list. Make it at the top and then we have a region and segment. Okay, so let's show region. Again, I will make this single value drop down and I will be taking here. And then we have segment. Let's do for segment also. So filter. Yep. Single value drop down and at the bottom. And now what I will do, I will make this 
only relevant value to all the drop down that i have great by default let me make all in all the categories yep we are good on this let's do one more thing apply this to all using this data source so that we won't have to make it everywhere and data will be in sync i hope you are clear with all these things if not then you can look for the um, training on tableau it just cost ten dollar it's available on udemy and the link you can find in the description box now let's go to sales okay so here we need what we need is yearly sales so let's first drag order date here yeah and here we need sales so here you go with the sales we need area chart okay there are two ways basically we can so we have dragged uh, uh, let's remove this let's clean this again and uh, let's remove this and then we'll start again okay so let's drag this order date over here and uh, sales in the row self okay yep we have good now on this let's just uh, expand this and as we need only month and year so what i will do i will remove this quarter did you find this right okay now we have two options either we can make the decoration on this area chart only or if you want to make it like this you can even create a dual axis both will work for the for this purpose so don't uh, i'm not going into the dual axis part what i will do i will make the decoration here itself okay let's make it even more darker yeah good and then border edge let's make it something like this yep great or if it's not showing that uh, you know differentiated we can even go for it or if we need even we can go for this yeah it's looking good now all you have to do is just make a little bit formatting so first what we can do we can simply change this to uh, either you can do first letter or abbreviations yeah abbreviations would work great then again make the formatting and what i am going to do is the same way we have done for the first sheet right so all you have to do is remove these options from here right so it's good and is not available so simply we are going to remove those that's all here we are good this is also saying good no this is fine okay just remove all zero lines drop lines reference line access text and within a minute we should be yeah we are good on this great if you want you can enable this but it's not recommended because it will uh, you know make the uh, graph little messy so what we can do is let's make bit till bold yeah so that it will look good okay great so we are done with i'm just saving it sample super store project i will attach this also so you can you know download this uh, work book okay so now what we need is in the similar way we need for profit also before that i need to make a little adjustment in the title of this worksheet the same way we did for the first one right we are good okay now we need for the profit in the same way right so what i will do i will simply duplicate this i'm not going to make it again because uh, only 
the major has been changed rest of the things are same so what i will do i will quickly change this sum to profit yep we are good on this again let's change the title and profit cool so we are done with all these three steps right now what you have to do is now create the dashboard executive dashboard enable the title and it's let's quickly see its executive sales it's executive sales yep okay great now what we need okay you have two options as you can you see these uh, you know lines so for or that's nothing but the border so for that uh, you know you can simply put a horizontal bar over here and uh, uh, you know you can go to layout and here from here you can select the border okay so you can make those decoration what i am going to show you is how to arrange those for a better look okay so this pane we want in at the left so you can put it somewhere around not exactly this okay so we need this to be shown here so let's uh, drag it here a little bit okay yeah we are good okay so now what we need is sales right so just make it sales here and then what we need is the profit and we are done okay before that we had to make make this uh, size as 1250 by 750 as per the requirements here okay yeah we have done that and if you want you can you know place these uh, vertical horizontal and make those uh, you know borders as you need so we have almost you know done and created the graph that was something like this you can play with the color and uh, you know place the color which suits you better and which can look better right so that's all for this particular project you can subscribe to this channel if you like this video and you can keep visiting we'll be adding multiple more more projects soon